God opens doors of unusual opportunities to position you for his purposes. Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. So it was when the king's command and decree were heard, and when many young women were gathered at Sushan, the citadel, under the, under the custody of Haggai, that Esther also was taken to the king's palace in the care of Haggai, the custodian of the women. As we progress in the story of Esther, there is something very important that happens in her life. The Persian king, King Ahasuerus, uh, is, uh, is looking for a queen to replace uh, his existing queen, Queen Vashti. And uh, at the king's command, uh, there are people who go out throughout his uh, empire uh, to gather together many young women to the palace who would then later on uh, be brought before the king to see whom he was going to choose uh, to be his queen. And in this process, Esther is also brought in as one of the young ladies into the palace and who would be cared for by the custodian of the woman. Now think about this. First of all, Esther was a Jewish girl. She probably did not expect to be included in this selection of women who would be brought into the king's palace. And yet she was chosen, she was brought in to this, uh, into the palace. Now this was an opportunity that knocked at the door of her life. And Esther may not have even realized it, that as she stepped into the king's palace, that she was actually stepping in to a very significant purpose that God had for her life. She just thought, well, I'm just going to go through this interview process and, you know, let's see what happens. She may not have any great expectation. We don't know about her reaction or what was going through her mind as she was brought into this palace. And yet this door of opportunity that swung open for Esther was really God setting her up for his purposes to be released through her life and for his people. So the message here for you and me is this, that God will orchestrate opportunities, that doors of opportunity will swing open for your life and mine. And we must be careful not to miss those opportunities, not to miss those moments that can change the course of our lives and result in the purposes of God being released through our lives. You've probably heard that phrase that huge doors or big doors swing on small hinges. Sometimes the opportunity itself may not be so glamorous, it may not be so great or significant or appealing, but on those small hinges swing huge doors that alter the very course of our lives and could impact the lives of many hundreds and thousands of other people whom we will eventually get to influence. So remember this, as you journey with God, God will set up those moments when doors of opportunity will swing open for your life. They may come in very simple, ordinary ways, but you must recognize those opportunities. Step in there because you're being set up for doing something of significance for His kingdom. Don't miss those opportunities. Those opportunities will knock on your life because God sends them to you. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us recognize those divine opportunities that knock at our doors, O oh Lord, and help us to respond, help us to step in, knowing that in due course of time, you will release your purposes through our lives. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.